Hello, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and I'm back with another inspiration in my favorite and favorite of yours wine book. Just a regular book that I got in thrift store and I'm gonna make a page. I just finished uh, this beautiful page with goodies sent by you my friends, Marami Mystery World Challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about you have to check it out, all the links I'll give you uh, under the video in the description box. So what we're gonna do today, I have left this gorgeous fabric and I was thinking what a shame not to use it since it's very challenging since I have never ever ever worked with fabric except one handmade card ages ago. So I thought, hmm, hmm, oh yes, oh yes Marta. So uh, what I did is I glued down together two pages, so like two pages together with print stick, which is here, and I have added white gesso on top of it just to make it faster. So while this is drying I will be fussy cutting this fabric and I'll be back to you once everything is dry and cut. Back to you. We have our pages dry and we have our flowers cut from this fabric. How to actually go about it? Uh, to be honest I'm not too sure myself but I do believe that maybe we could go for this kind of composition somehow something mm, I don't know like something like that and I'm thinking to use actually gel medium to glue it down if I can uh, find some gel medium that is that is not so dry let's see if this one will work let's see oh that should do so let's just put a generous amount of gel medium, I think. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Generous amount, enough. Okay. <clears throat> now, something like that and what I will do is I'm gonna get this tool this thing oops that maybe will help me to stretch everything and actually no it maybe even fingers will do a good job in this matter <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah definitely this gel medium should <laughs> I should get some fresher one than this one because this one is really not so sticky but that's okay that's okay I'm gonna get get some uh, transparent gesso on top of that <laughs> okay I just want to use that that product you know I don't want to throw it away just because it's semi uh, dry and oh I prefer the new one but no I just want to use it away you know <clears throat> that kind of attitude I have. Use what you have as much as you can without wasting it. So, mm -hmm. Pretty much a generous amount of gel. Medium going around everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> oh, voila. Nice. Nice one. In some places we may have not straight that have the gel medium so we can just always go back because I didn't know how far is my flower gonna go so look <clears throat> you can just do it like that and it's fine two seconds <clears throat> two seconds <laughs> there we go. What what's on your dinner today? Because we had we just finished um, chicken soup. It's Emily's favorite. Actually, Hannah loves it too. We definitely making it way too too rare. I like it too. Not too bad. I'm not a huge fan. No, that's okay. <clears throat> Wow, that is gorgeous, so isn't it? 
don't you think? I have some phone, my phone is at me. No, I thought that it's a message, but no. I'm waiting for a little message. Um, <clears throat> yes, we can try this, but before, I think I'm gonna get transparent gesso and get some kind of a layer of transparent gesso going there, I think. This will just kind of sick, um, put everything, I don't know, like it will prime it, let's say. It's already primed because of gel medium, but I, I like to have gesso as well. So, fabric. And it looks like paper at this point, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I'm glad that this pipe that this fabric had white background because it was not that easy to fussy cut it. So um, it's easier that the fact that there's white around it, so I didn't have to be so extremely precise regards uh, the fussy cutting. So that's great actually. So that's when you're looking for products yourself, what to buy sometimes. Transparent background, white background, cream background, bright background. If you want to fussy cut things, always helps and it's just much easier for you. So, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful fabric. Gorgeous fabric on top of that page and looks really, really nice. So, let's try this and yeah and I come back to you when we opened the package with Emily she said that this could be like a for a stencil hmm <laughs> let's try and let's see although I have some doubts because it's so very tiny I don't think it's gonna be good but I could be very much in wrong so yes let's try it let's see it together if I can get a craft knife, not craft knife, palette knife, proper palette knife. Where is my favorite palette knife? Two of them I lost. No way. My roundy palette knife. Oh no, where are you? I can't see. I literally can't find it. Okay, I'll use one of these. Okay, that will do. Hmm. Let's see if it's gonna actually work. Or not. Wow! <laughs> Emily, you are genius. Genius. Hmm? Did it work? It worked beautifully, actually. <sighs> it worked beautifully. <laughs> Holy smokes! Wow! Or holy guacamole, is it? They say. Wow! No, go back. Go back! Wow! I'm really shocked. <laughs> wow! Too much. Oh, wow! You have to see this, Emily. <clears throat> Whoa, that's mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> Look at that. that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. The camera it's not picking up for you guys, but I'll show it to you in a second. I need to wash this before it dries. Good evening, I'm back to you. It's night time nearly because it's uh, 11 p.m. <laughs> so it's quite late. Kids are asleep. Hobby is at work as it's weekend so <laughs> you can only imagine. Um, and I'm about to color my project. I'm not too sure yet what colors exactly I'm gonna go for but I would love this dirty pink and this pink um, and also look at that texture <laughs> I'm gonna actually two seconds bring the camera closer two seconds can you see that look it's amazing 
fabulous, isn't it? It's fantastic. If I could, oh, okay, you can see now. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> Emily had such a great idea to use this uh, for our texture as a stencil. So I'm adding delicate touches of water in places and I brought my little jars so I may get some more water mm -hmm. and let's start coloring. I'm gonna be using <coughs> my brand new love which is gouaches, watercolor gouaches from Arteza uh -huh. oh, look at that, it's gonna be beautiful so that's the plan to use these if you fancy getting some Arteza products you can find all the links below my video feel free to use them okay we're starting with kind of the brightest color and we will be working uh, working towards downstairs kind of and we're gonna be two seconds I'm gonna be and we'll be adding darker color later on mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like that I think it looks lovely mm -hmm. so let's play the same game here with this with this side <clears throat> now I have to tell you that I've been exercising mad the last few days and I think I over exercise myself because I have a pain in my knee for the first time in my life actually so I think I need to take a little bit of a break from, <laughs> from my exercises unfortunately because I'm used to it so much and I'm jump rope, jump um, sk 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 skipping, jump skip, skipping, I love it, love it, love it. And I was doing that every day for the past month and I think I just, yeah, I think I went too much a little bit. <coughs> oh well. <laughs> so we are coloring, 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 coloring delicate and trying to get the feel for the page that would help get the feel for the page the texture is indeed very delicate so that's why it's difficult to kind of maneuver it with the color but <clears throat> I hope we get there a little bit I hope we will now the next color that I'm tempted to use is this pink actually this pinky pink really okay not too much I see although it's perfect for the flower it's exactly the same but no I don't think I am into having this background in this intense pink I'll see in a minute but I don't think so no I need a little bit of a little bit of tissue to go here <coughs> A little bit more there we go okay and maybe a little bit more here as well hi Amy why are you not in pajamas oh I forgot I'm gonna go to sleep on this it's 11 o'clock, you're not even in pyjamas, you didn't take shower, come on. I love that. Thank you very much, but I'm not listening, please, it's too late for you, you're sick. Yeah, take a tablet, but you have to wash, brush your hair then, uh, brush your teeth then, after the tablet, tablet, so. Thank you very much. I didn't paint them, it's a fabric. I know. But like the stencil as well. Yeah, this stencil worked great. Mm. Thanks to your idea. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Goodbye. Bye. I don't want to be rude or anything, but it's time for you. Thank you very much. Uh huh. I finished the book. Well done. So that's one finished mm -hmm. so far since we spoke. Okay, that's great. Well done. Bye. Bye. Sleep tight. Thank you. Love you. Me too. Yeah, but I love you more. Mm -hmm. But I love you more. Are you sure? I'm positive, a million percent. I think I love you more. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So that's what we have right now. I'm just thinking to maybe add... Oh, I like that light of color. I love that actually. Now it's kind of <clears throat> having this nice uh, joint kind of, um, I don't know, it just works now. The background kind of, when it's darker, a little bit of darker element, I feel that it's kind of helps out and it gives this, I don't know, it just works together great. Like, I usually love the way I do it this way. Everyone loves to color themselves, you know, there are how, how many people you have, the many ways of coloring you will find as well, so, but I love this way, it's like a slow, I call it slow coloring, so I love that. Mm -hmm. So basically I'm trying to make some kind of pretty colors happening here that will be um, beautifully contrasting to our um, to our flowerito we can help a little bit with a touch of water on oh, this nice. same for here we could do that Mm -hmm. I love it. Beautiful. Now, we could add color number four, which is black. But let me think before I jump into black, if there's any other color that could be used instead of black. But no, I don't think so. Maybe that brown, actually. Wait, maybe that brown. Mm hmm Mm, we can try that brown actually. So let's spray that. I have a plan that I'm not going to be recording a lot today, tonight. I'm going to watch some TV basically on my own, waiting for Lucas and just really enjoying me time. I'm going to make a, a facial mask on myself and just enjoying really the the evening and watch some romantic comedy romance something something <laughs> oh I love that now oh, beautiful it's not easy with the slow painting because uh, where this is perfect this is not yet done if you move too much then you're gonna gain Oops, that that didn't help now because it's sprayed all over my white. That's okay. We can I can redo things again. Um, so yes, it takes time the the perfect the coloring. I still I'm still learning after what five years of using this technique that I found out that time. I remember when for the first time I kind of started coloring this way. Oh. I loved it so much. It was like a wreck to me how different coloring could actually be and since then this is how I 90% of the time I would color my spreads and I just simply love it. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Interesting. 
this texture from that uh, stencil thing it's really really interesting and nice and different and I love it I'm gonna leave it as it is because I love that and now I'm gonna be hoping that we can do similar thing some kind of everything is extremely wet so the even the um, page is kind of soaked like hugely soaked that's okay I love it Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's a mix, mix between the right amount of water and the right amount of paint actually the right amount of pigment and I'm going directly from my little half pants there mm -hmm. <clears throat> wow love it love it. Now I feel that I wish this to be slightly darker and because we were keep on pulling the page down up actually it was losing its darkness a little bit which is natural and totally normal but I think I wish to kind of have this Doubled the oh, there we go. I love that now. As I said, it is taking a little bit of practice to kind of perfect the coloring to feel good about it and to just really, really love, love, love it. So, nice. Okay, we can actually try this, isn't it? I think we could definitely try that. Yeah, maybe a little too much went there. That's okay. That's okay. Too much, but I keep on adding. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Oh. Perfect. Let's try that. My page is kind of dry. And you know what? I was thinking I don't have really any titles here in the pack that, uh, from the Happy Mail. And I thought, hmm, why don't I use the same tissue as in the previous project from the challenge? Maybe. Because color-wise it is actually matching. Kind of vintage-ish. You know? Let's see if this will actually look nice, because maybe it's not. Um, I was thinking to put it here. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not this time. Maybe I'm going to jump in into my stickers yet again. And that's why I love them. <laughs> They're just matching perfectly so much. Um, <clears throat> Let go of yesterday. Mm -hmm. If I feel that it's too long, I just... Oh, now I see that I forgot to keep on using my, my, my stamp for my... for the... for, for where, where, when I made them. So that way you know <laughs> when I really made them and when they are really appearing in the channel. You are one in kind. Live life in full color. <coughs> mm -hmm. That's why I love the t stickers because they just work perfectly. <coughs> Thankful. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't mind I'm using them stickers because I just feel that they are just journal away guys that they are just perfect I just love them so much and not because they are mine but because they are so good to what I use to what I need you know that kind of attitude I truly feel for them <clears throat> So 
Magic. Mm -hmm. Magic. I like that. Day is today the 6th of December. Wow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm gonna stamp that. 6th of but that's ninth actually is it? yeah, oops <laughs> six is this one <clears throat> six of December so I'm gonna place it there then yesterday was the fifth and that's yesterday project that I da done it's not on the channel yet when you are watching this when you when I'm talking to you now but and then we have this winter one which I made week before that even so that could be November indeed maybe 25th let's say roughly honestly I don't remember <laughs> November 5 25th of November <coughs> mm -hmm. awesome 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 Wow, we're not done here yet, guys. We're not done here yet. Um, I was thinking to actually add a little bit of stamping. And this time, let me get some other stamp. Uh, some words stamped. Super. This stamp meant to be separated, so you know what? I'm gonna be just cutting it in half and that's perfectly fine yeah I think that would be better okay so dun -dun -dun. so we have dream inspire belief shining courage smile level of laugh mm -hmm. so finally I have the word stamp. <laughs> I'm so happy for it. I'm happy for you guys because you've been asking me about the word stamp for forever. Forever and ever. Oh yes. I like that. beautiful even more here lovely jovely now I'm using my forever favorite um, back color ink tense there vent if you're watching my videos you know that this is my go-to product when I outline when I kind of like to do this kind of smudges around my stickers my titles it is something I just absolutely love doing and it just gives me this I don't know it just kind of blends in in the page and I just like that and I think this time as well it just matches the color so perfectly so check the date when when have I uploaded this and there's few designs I cannot will I show you one more let me see if I can have one more mm. Okay, well I can show you the trial that I've done because I've done some time ago, this is my stamp, I was just learning and testing some product to color. So this is the stamp that, let me show it, oh it's here. So here it is, here is the stamp. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I hand drawn every single stamp, I absolutely love 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 it. Uh, so there is few more all of the stamps are hand drawn but yeah there's a few more designs so check it out check it out and uh, this one will be for sale for sure because I really would love to this to be up going in this in this time so yes uh, I'm super excited I cannot wait to see how you're gonna take them actually and yeah it's just it's just amazing to bring something new I know that many of you is waiting for something fresh and new and to be honest I wanted to make new papers but I just 
I've been so busy recording videos for you guys and that's the honest truth as well. I had like every, nearly every second, third day a video in the last few, good few months. That takes a lot, especially if you are full-time mom as well. And I haven't been full-time mom because of work, obviously, schedule. I had to kind of ask a lot of time Lucas to mind the girls so I could record, I could be here, you know. So that's why it is taking a little bit of time to come up with something new. Uh, but stamps, uh, they they meant to be actually released the same time as the papers, as the stickers, as the rice papers, the other things, because that was the plan and they were hand drawn and all and they were ready, but just things didn't work out quite well, so yeah. Um, I feel that this page is pretty much finished to me, but I'm just thinking if there's anything else I could have done differently or add something. What about pencil? What about a little bit of shading with pencil? Guys, how you, how do you like that idea? To make this a little bit darker maybe, like teensy, teensy, teensy darker, you know? How's that? Or there is no need for that, I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. no, I need to kind of go over in a few places. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. I love that actually. So I think a little bit of that darker edging here and there and just smudging it away. Just a little bit. Journaling away, exactly. Yes, I think we need a little bit of a definition for the for the whole pages, for the whole project, like like a little frame, I think. With our, I'm using uh, graphite, no, not graphite. Which one I'm using? Icon, yes, I'm sorry, it's graphite pencil, indeed, from Icon, if you're wondering what kind of pencil I'm using, this is it. I think it, it gives this nice finish and definition and kind of contrast and all. So I like that. I think it just helps out now. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. I love that. Now, time for... <laughs> time for what, guys? Time for white splashes, of course. I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't add some white splashes and maybe black as well, we'll see. No, my brush wasn't the most clean. <laughs> That's okay. Um, bam, bam, bam. And yet again I'm using the white gouache. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. Gorgeous so, gorgeous so. Everywhere. It's like a snow everywhere. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely needed. This page needed that. Mm -hmm. In some places, maybe even more, and than others, like especially when the dark is. Mm -hmm. Wow! I love it. So I didn't use much of your products here, but it's very hard to. Uh, put things together when they are really not matching to each other. I may just open new parcels and see what's going on With that maybe I can combine from one lot and from another lot. I don't know just a thought, you know, just a thought um, I'm thinking one thing that comes to my mind is that I a little bit lost that mm, that pinkish color, but that's okay because you can always get some pink and just 
literally like you know oh look like a touch of somewhere like here <clears throat> so when you feel this that hmm and this whole coloring journey it's like where's that pink from the flower exactly so now it's time to as well maybe add things you know and this will kind of helps and brings everything together if you feel that you've lost in the coloring process you've lost some kind of shades which we did the pink was lost and now we can bring it back so this this way the whole uh, flowery thing will be technically <laughs> in love with the rest of the page so that will be fine we will be sorted but yes indeed we lost a little bit of that pink isn't it it's nice to even afterwards add some color why not you know why not what about some splashes pink splashes no I'm gonna do actually black splashes guys you know that's what I'm gonna do black splashes Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Not everywhere, no. In few places. Oh. How is that now? I love it. I think it it added up as well, something special to the look. Let me just put the paints aside. Okay, I think we can call this one done and dust it and maybe just this tinsy, tinsy bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot that my finger is um, <laughs> is grey from there. That's okay. It's fine. As if it was always there. Okay, guys, we're gonna be finishing here. Thank you so, so, so very much for joining me for today's session of, t of crafting together and enjoying time spent together. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it and uh, found it inspirational and helpful. And I hope I show you that I hope I showed you that you can use fabric in your art journaling for the very first time. So thank you so much for challenging me. I absolutely loved it, and I would lie if I say that I was confident. No, I wasn't. It was it was really challenging at some kind of you know I had to have thinking about it which was great and I love love loved it and that's fantastic only now I realize that my nails this time for a change matching my new color matching the 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 page this is not my regular color no it's only by accident <laughs> I just didn't have time to do nails and wanted to record so I just grabbed whatever I had around but anyway I know this is not a topic of this project of this video thank you so much everyone who took part and sent me goodies for the challenge for marry me mystery world challenge if you don't know what I'm talking about please check my other videos um, and the playlist as well with all the other videos previous ones so I absolutely love it how different look how absolutely completely different is from this page like this is definitely my favorite my new favorite for this oh wait sequins why not why not since we got so many sequins why not to use some hmm <clears throat> let's see if the any pink will kind of be okay or it's too much no Yes, that's what I was worried, that it's going to be a little bit too much of a pink. But let me see what other sequins I have here. I have, oh yes, I have some blue, red, no. These sequins, maybe the gold, actually. Maybe the gold, because it's this brownish effect here. So maybe the actual gold could be added. Why not? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Absolutely guys absolutely it will be like really um, adding this sparkle and interest let me just put some there and let me just put these back on <laughs> so I'm finishing adding the, the glue under my sequins seconds seconds sequins tequina in Polish and I think we can call this one done and dusted I'm not too sure I like this there maybe not maybe here yeah there we go <laughs> so here it is thankful for 
this page look at it and this gold is actually kind of adding this really special touch to it and something really nice about it so wow use the sequins guys such a forgotten little tool that everyone has a lot in the house am i right thank you so much everyone yet again once more for uh, being here tonight and for finishing up this page with me i hope you liked it as much as i did and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit the bell button because uh, you will get a notification about every upload that i make so you won't miss any video of mine thank you so much in advance and of course for all the comments because i know they are coming and coming and i'm so grateful so thank you thank you thank you so much i really love it now that the sequins actually are bringing this page to life i feel like it really is brought to life so much so okay thank you thank you till the next time see you soon bye bye back to you for one more thing i was just packing my stuff and i figured why why is my stance stamp so kind of flexible when I was stamping my titles and now I know it was it didn't have this because uh, I kept this plastic underneath it my old stamp not my stamp but I own it but it's not Marami stamp so it was much easier for me to actually maneuver it and stamp with it so I was thinking that I'm gonna do exactly the same thing here so in case you are purchasing I suggest you to maybe uh, because it's just it's such a long stamp actually that maybe it would be so much easier it, yeah, it is absolutely because you can hold it. I may even have it. I think I have this one as far as I remember I have this one as well <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did um, So I can have it here maybe There we go <clears throat> Exactly yeah, that's much better. So just a little info. You can do whatever you like with your product. So, <laughs> you know, even half it, even cut it. Why not? <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye.